What's going on guys, it's your boy Zipski, and today I'm showing you proof of the power of sheer cold. Let's get into it. This guy says really cool team, I say you too, I hadn't seen anything quite like it. <clears throat> and later out, later on, I find out why it is somewhat dangerous. <clears throat> Mouse hold goes down, I didn't want any damage on the Dragoraf, fra uh, Fragoraf, but send up here. Uh, he terrors ghosts. I want to get off my hyper voice so I can get the boost, and so I do that. He's weakness policy, but that does not matter because I take him out. Also, that's insane just how how well he lived that. Uh, zero to hero. It doesn't show on this replay, but it did show in game, which is kind of funny. Hyper voice. I know it's immune, but I don't care. I wanted that extra damage. Black and rock here. Can't do any kind of priority to me. Body press takes me out. And he goes... I believe for... Yeah, Endeavor. And then I die to Sandstorm. Which that's why it's kind of tricky. With the Sash and the Endeavor. And here I'm like... What can I do? Also, he's running Quick Claw. That's crazy. So here I was like... Well, crap. I literally have, like, one way of winning. Let's take out Lycanroc first. And then the Garkonokle. Uh, he recovers, and I freeze-dry here just, uh, because it's 100% accurate. Trying to take him out. Here, here's the important turn. Well, here's one of the important turns. Endeavor. Freeze-dry. He says he does not go for damage on me. He actually sets up another iron defense. I don't know why he did that. I think it was a misclick or something. But this is why he never given the chance. Sheer cold lands. First try wins me the game because the sandstorm ran out and I lived on one HP because of the endeavor. Now if that, is that, that isn't crazy, if that doesn't show you the power of sheer cold, I don't know what will. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Deuces.